Can I ask you a weird question? <laughs> if you were to, uh, let's say, all humans died right now, yeah. press a button, poof, gone. How much of human civilization would you be able to reconstruct from just the skeletons that are in the ground? Like you just start collecting skeletons. There's a lot of them. Yeah. There's, there's billions of them. Would you be able to start telling a story like urban centers? Yeah, probably. You, you could probably reconstruct a lot, and, right? And if, if nothing else, just the you know superlative brain cavity will tell you quite a lot. You know, with, yeah, the intelligence must must, could, must have been very very smart with a brain could, that big. You can probably reconstruct some of the behavior, a lot of the behavior, social yeah. behavior, a lot of the. And stuff. you're you're going to see stuff like you know, it's the famous one of I think it was a Neanderthal. There was a famous question of like, you know, at what point do you think society exists? And it may have been one of the leakies, but the answer was basically th this skeleton, because it was someone with a re like a properly busted leg, and then it fully healed. And it's like, if that person was on their own, just dead, someone had to look after them for months to get that level of healing. You only do that to someone you're really devoted to and probably a group of people because even one person can't look after one other person. In... Right, so that, that's your society. And yeah, you think about the the pathology of skeletons in the human race. How you know how many of us have broken a bone? Most, most adults have probably broken a couple of bones, even if it's just a finger or, or a nose or something. But then you think about what medicine has done and you would be able to see treatments of complete compound fractures of guys who survived horrific car crashes and treatments of cancer, bone cancers and stuff like that. You would see that. Well, how's that happening? Either they're magic or they've got some kind of, in which case they'd probably cure it instantly, or there's some kind of technology in society supporting that change. That just hints at the fact that the, the evidence collection and the reasoning mechanism that paleontology and archaeology uses is really powerful. Yeah, and so it, it, could, is. it could be very effective, even, even just with a small amount of data. I mean, you but, could, but, it, but it's the right amount of data. That's the thing. We can we can find dozens of skeletons that we can't do very much with, and then the right one that you know things like stomach contents. You know, that's a super or, or bite marks. It's a super powerful bit of data, but it doesn't turn up that often. So it's not like you can get it off every skeleton. And that's the thing. It's it's the it's the pool of data, and I think that's what people miss.